Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're setting up a well pump so that we can have some good fresh water from our well here on the property in North Florida. You know, we're using a Utilitech half horsepower pump. These things are preset to 230 volts, but we're going to change that to 115 volts so we can plug it directly into the outlet to start. So now we're going to hook up the wiring. Let's just see if this is the right bolt to take off this cap. Yep. And you're gonna, we're going to bring our wire in through this plug and it's going to connect right here. So let's go ahead and get that started. Because I've set this to, you know, 115 volts, I'm going to try to use a, a GFI plug where I can plug it right into my outlet. We're going to give it a try. So, you got your grommet to keep it watertight. Get your wires through there. You got our hot wire, our return wire, and our ground. Pull those all through. And right down here at the bottom is where we're putting the wires in. And we'll hook up our grommet and then we'll make our connections. So we've got our grommet in, you can see our wires coming through, our ground and everything here. So the first thing we're going to do is just strip a little bit of wire here and uh, that way we can make some good connections. grounding wire onto the ground so now we're ready to plug this in and see if it works So I'm just going to, you know, turn the pump over, make sure that we do have power and that we can plug it directly into the outlet. You can hear it running good. Now I'm just returning the cap. Remember, everything that's electrical is always inside of some type of box, whether it be in your wall, outside, outside plug. Everything where there's a connection is inside of a box. Next, I'm setting up. The discharge where we're going to have, you know, the water is going to come out of the pump. So let's go ahead and put some tape around this. What this does, this compresses and it fills those voids, making it watertight. Remember, this is under pressure. So we put a fair amount of tape on there, break it off. And we're ready to screw this one in. We're going to go ahead and thread that on hand tight first. And then we'll put a wrench on that. I'm just going to use vice grips to make this tight. If you had a pipe wrench, it would work too. But since we're out here in the field, we're just using vice grips. So we're going to go ahead and put on, you know, we've got to have pressure. This is our pressure hose. This T connects the pressure from the tank down here to the water pressure that we're going to receive. So let's go ahead and hook that all up to here. Then we put another T on it. So we've got discharge coming out. We'll have discharge coming out for the water and we'll also put our 
meter our pressure gauge on the top so we see what kind of pressure we have. Don't forget to use your pipe thread. Okay, pipe thread fitting. Because this fitting doesn't screw, we're going to have to screw this piece in and then hook up the compression and then hook up the compression fitting that goes on to the air tank. So let's go ahead and screw that in place. And it has a nut that we've got to tighten up. Now we're going to go ahead and hook up our compression valve right here. Not too bad. So we're ready to tighten up this. So next we're going to go ahead and put on our T for the discharge. We're going to thread it in there hand tight to begin with. Then we're going to take our wrench, <laughs> our vice grips. And we're going to turn it off here to the side. There we go. Now we're putting on our pressure gauge, so we'll go ahead and screw that in hand tight as well. And then we'll get our wrench and we'll tighten that up. There we go. So the final step to put on our male threaded one inch adapter. It's really just a coupling. Put a little bit more tape on here. We'll thread this guy in place. Pretty simple really. Hot out here but pretty simple. So here's our setup so far. Remember that we had to switch it over to 115 volts. We've put on the discharge. We've put on the pump tank, the air tank, which will regulate the pressure. We've put on the pressure gauge, a couple of T's. This will be our discharge. Now we're ready to go ahead and plumb. Now we're ready to go ahead and plumb the inlet, the suction side. So don't forget your pipe thread tape. Remember this is inch and a quarter to one inch because I've got a one inch pipe that goes down into the well, the suction side. Let's go ahead and put the wrench on there and tighten that up. Okay. So we're ready to set up our pump tip for installation. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace this foot, the inlet, because it's been down there for a long time. So let me get the other one. Anyways, way. we're going to go ahead and screw this on here. I put some pipe tape on here and we're going to thread it on. And we'll put the wrench on it, just give it a couple of turns so we 
you know it's secure. Yep, good. So we're ready to put that on. Okay, so we're ready to glue it up. We'll start by putting some primer around here. Then put some primer around here. <laughs> sets up pretty quick and we're going to go ahead and glue our connection together here really hot out here so it's the glue becomes quite runny quickly push it in there hold it and that's set next we're going to go ahead and connect our foot to our suction line it's going to be a total of about 23 feet and that pump says it can pull 23 feet actually i think it says it can pull 25 so we'll give that a try let that set up Remember, primer is really sticky, not sticky, but really messy, it's runny, it drips everywhere. Hard to get off of your clothes and your hands. Okay, let's go ahead and put our foot down in the well. We're going to line it up right here. So we're coming down to the to the wire here. <laughs> if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. We're going to find out. We're going to have to glue it up. good connection let it sit up put our well seal back on give this a second to set up then we're going to prime it right here and we'll see if we get any pressure coming out of that little guy So, oh, it's working great. Just got to prime it really good. Let's see what kind of pressure we got. Almost 40 pounds. Shuts off as pressure drops. Let's see if we can get some pressure to drop here. Oh yeah, it's dropping quick. Should kick on, I hope. Yep, comes right on. We got water. So setting up the shallow well, not so hard. A little bit hot down here in North Florida in the summertime, but hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.